welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with I Style, My Style. And today I thought I would take you along as I do some cleaning and decorating for spring, of course. So if you need a little action for spring, make sure you keep watching. All right, so I'm trying to decide if I like this canvas print here. I do like the black and white with the green. And I considered putting a little tree here, but I don't know. I think if I did, I'd have to use something that was really low. So that's why I have this vase that I picked up from Z Gallery over here with some palm fronds, just to see how it would look. So I don't know, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the print here because I initially was gonna go with something blank. Let me show you that. So I had this piece. It's just an oversized canvas that I picked up from Ross and I painted it white. And I just wanted a really minimal look up here. Um, so I was going to use this. And it just be really large and oversized and blank, so nothing on it. And then I got this picture light that I was gonna hang over it, but I thought, I know I ordered black and they sent me, I don't know if you can see that, they sent silver. So I can't use silver. It has to be black, so I'm gonna have to send that back. But if you could picture it, it would have a black picture light hanging down or over it and the light would shine down. I don't know, I think it would be like really art gallery type. That's the look that I was going for. So I have to send this back, but let me know, should I leave the blank canvas, which is looking a little crooked, or should I use the other canvas? And the reason I'm debating is because, bring you over here, oops. I have you all over the place. I wanted to put the prints over here. And initially, I had them side by side to see how they would look. So I was thinking about leaving them there. That's why I'm, I wanna use the blank canvas on the other wall and leave these two over there. So leave me a comment down below. Should I, leave, should I hang those two prints there or separate them? Decisions, decisions. So let's, oh, and the other thing. So over here, and oops, pardon the light, I have these geometric black and white curtains and I was thinking about switching it up and just putting plain white velvet curtains up here. But then the more I think about that, I'm thinking, I don't know. So it would be these white velvet curtains and then I would leave up these black waffle weave curtains and just take down the white and black geometric. But I don't know, I think this would just be too plain if I did that. So I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave them. But anyway, 
Ooh, let me turn you back around. I'm just moving you everywhere today. Oh, set you right over here. The light's a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is clean and decorate the space for spring. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we'll see a finished look once I'm done. You're kissing my neck and grabbing my leg Pushing me backwards into your bed Baby, you are all I need But I don't wanna dive too deep, too deep I can feel the tension Another bottle of this wine I'll be up in your space Love and affection Ain't got nothing on me No, that's not what I need Maybe on another day I'd encourage you to make me stay But baby, I'm just trying to numb my brain And wrap my head around this whole thing When you're kissing my neck And grabbing my leg Pushing me backwards into your bed like a game that I picked up from Home Goods on clearance several years ago. And since the loft is our entertainment area, I keep it set out here on the side table. I saw this really pretty chest set that I would like to get from Z Gallery, but it is so expensive, so, so, so expensive. Keep my fragrance warmer head behind there so that we will have a really nice smelling space up here.
just wanna call, see if we're okay, babe. All I wanna ask you is, I don't wanna push you farther away. No, I don't wanna play no games. I just wanna call, see if we're okay, babe. All I wanna ask you is. Sorry for the lighting in here. Um, so I had this rug in my boyfriend's man cave and the rug in here keeps bunching up and I thought maybe I might take it out and try something a little different and put this one down in here. So I just wanted to see how it might look if I did something like that. I didn't think I would like this cowhide print. I initially wanted a zebra print, um, but this rug was sent to me as part of a collaboration. So that was the only choice they had. So if you can see it down there. So this is how it's looking in the space and I, I don't like it. So we'll leave our original rug down. We're done cleaning. So now just it's time to accessorize. So I have these white and black pillow covers that I showed you from H&M Home, but I told you they were cream in color and I wasn't really filling the cream. So I think I'm gonna add these green pillows instead. And then I have this sage green blanket that I picked up last year. So for this spring refresh for my loft, I am just using things that I already have not going out and buying anything. You don't have to buy new things for every season. You can always use what you have and it will still look really pretty. Okay, so this is how the space is looking. I'm on the fence about the sage green. I don't know. Maybe I should leave the sage green. Or uh, not the sage green, but leave these pillows. I'm going to cut these strings off. maybe I should leave the pillows because it gives the couch more of a pop 
and we don't like the carpet in this house. The carpet was already here. It's not something we picked. That's why we have area rugs everywhere. Eventually we would like to get hardwood floors throughout, but for now we have to go with the area rug. So I think I am going to leave these pillows because they give the couch more of a pop. So let's do that. I'm just not the right kind of girl for you You deserve somebody who's loving you You shouldn't call me later Promise it's for the better I'm just not the right kind of girl for you Cause I got a rule I hold on to my heart Share with nobody Serious, can't you just be mine for a night, my love? Take it off, put it on, then be on your way. It's not your phone, my baby. It's not on you, my baby. All right, guys, so I apologize for the poor lighting. It's getting later in the evening. So, this is how our lounge looks for spring. Again, I am not sure. If I'm going to hang those canvases there or not, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of how it looks here. Um, I really like it. I think I might. We shall see. Leave me a comment. Um, and then we have our, this is our movie area. So we have these action and superhero film posters. Um, absolutely love that here in the space. Those were a DIY. Um, I just found a photo, blew it up, picked it up from Walgreens, put it in some poster frames, and voila, DIY wall art for this space. I think it only cost me like 10 or $15 for each one. So I did put the cream colored black and cream colored pillows back on the couch, as you can see. Yeah, I'm still not loving it, especially against the black and white obelisk that you can see there in the background. I don't know. Am I being too picky? Leave me a comment. How does that look in the space? I might be on the hunt for more pillows. But I added the green fro. I think it looks perfect here in the space. And I wanted to pop a green over here on this side of the room. So I added those flowers that were recently on my dining room table. We have the tulips that I picked up from Amazon here, along with the white vase that I picked up from the at-home store. These little candle holders came from Home goods and they did have twine around them and I took it off because I felt like they looked a lot more sophisticated and better looking without it. We have a tray over here that we use to corral everything. Our remote normally stays in there but I was watching TV so it's on the coffee table. This little lamp came from Amazon and I absolutely love it. Have some florals over here for spring and room spray and coasters. And this is the bookcase, you guys saw me clean and dust the bookcase. This is how it looks. Um, you know, black and white are my signature colors. So we just have black and white here in the bookcases. Um, these are just actually all white. These came from Z Gallery about five years ago. And I had ordered a set, just one set, but when I picked them up, there were two. So 
I have tons of these books, as you can see. Um, this little piece came from Home Goods. It was a clearance find, and I think she looks perfect here with her little mask on. That shell came from Home Goods, clearance find. Um, these vases, I don't remember where these came from. Uh, Kroger on clearance, $5.99. This little guy, where did you come from? Ross, $4.99. This probably came from Ross too. Nope, Home Goods, $5.99. That is a Goodwill find, you guys saw that. This, I didn't leave the tag on this, so I don't know where it came from, but it was probably Home Goods. Um, I do have games down there because this is our loft slash game room slash theater room up here. So there are games down there. Over here is an extra lamp. I don't have a place to put it, so it sits here. Over here, I have these white lamps that I picked up from Home Goods. I have my David face statue, and this piece came from a Z Gallery. Over here, I have the matching lamp and some more florals on this side. Um, I have my mask that I picked up um, when we were down in New Orleans around Mardi Gras time but I'll leave that here as decoration this is a photo frame <laughs> it has a horse in it but um, I like the horse so I left it in there I uh, haven't changed that out um, because again this is our theater room I wanted to you know do something not sort of gimmicky but kind of classic for it so I have this one piece that says it meant one it's like as when you went to the movies, you would get a ticket. I have a fireplace here. And again, I have this blank canvas. It was, I forget what was underneath it, but I painted over it because, I don't know, I wanted to go for a simple, minimalistic look. So that's how that looks here. And then these white chairs came from Overstock. I love the way they look in the space. The pillows are just old pillows that I picked up from TJ Maxx or Home Goods on clearance. And I just have uh, some pillow covers on them from Amazon. That little vase underneath is a catch all holder and it came from probably Home Goods or TJ Maxx. The lamp came from TJ Maxx. Um, it didn't come with that shade. You guys know I like to change out my shades when I don't like something. So. I don't remember where that shade came from, but that's how that looks. And I left my cleaning rag over here. So this area, you guys have noticed downstairs, we painted all of our doors black. So we are going to do the same thing up here. We just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, but they will be black and once they are, I think it will just make the room pop even more. Up here, I showed you guys my laundry room refresh. If you missed that video, I will leave that linked down in the description box below so you can go check that out. There will also be a link of the playlist of all of my spring video updates. So if you guys have enjoyed today's clean and decorate with me, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, my name is Cheryl. I love all things home decor and I love decorating with style on a budget and try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is. So if that is something you are into as well, please hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell and become a part of the I Style My Style family. Um, this ceiling lamp or light, I don't think I told you it came from Overstock. And over here, this little guy also came from Overstock. And we have a coffee maker up here in case anyone wants to have a cup of coffee. We have a um, beverage center, popcorn station, just the works up here. So yeah, this is how it looks. So I want to thank you guys for joining me today and I hope to see you in the next one.